Hi viewers, this is Dr. Muhammad Iftikhar Aslam from Pakistan presenting my lecture on uh, contagious caprine pleuropneumonia, which is also known as uh, Mycoplasma capricolum subspecies capri pneumonia. In this video, we'll cover the information regarding the organism that causes contagious caprine pleuropneumonia and its epidemiology. We'll also talk about the uh, economic uh, impact the disease has had in the past and uh, could have in the future. Additionally, we'll talk about how it is transmitted, the species it affects, clinical signs and uh, necropsy findings and uh, diagnosis and treatment of the disease. Finally, we'll address the prevention and control measures for this disease as well as actions to take uh, if contagious caprine pleuropneumonia is suspected. Contagious caprine pleuropneumonia is caused by Mycoplasma capricolum subspecies capri pneumonia, which was formerly known as Mycoplasma biotype F38. There are four lineages which uh, correspond to the geographic regions. Mycoplasma capri pneumonia belong to a closely related group of mycoplasmas called the Mycoplasma mycoids cluster. Two other groups in this group, uh, Mycoplasma mycoids subspecies capri and uh, Mycoplasma mycoids subspecies mycoids. Large colony type can cause a disease in small ruminant that resembles contagious caprine pleuropneumonia but may have extra pulmonary signs and lesions. Contagious caprine pleuropneumonia is severe and highly contagious in naive animals. Morbidity is about uh, 100%. Chronic disease can also be seen in endemic areas where animals may have pre-existing immunity to Mycoplasma capri pneumonia. Mortality ranges from uh, 60 to 100%. Close confinement increases the spread of disease. The incubation period is often 6 to 10 days, although it is sometimes as long as 3 to 4 weeks under the natural conditions. Contagious caprine pleuropneumonia is highly contagious. Transmission of this disease is by direct contact through the inhalation of infectious respiratory droplets. Chronic carriers may exist, but this remains unproven. Contagious caprine pleuropneumonia is strictly a respiratory disease. Per-acute, acute, and uh, chronic forms may be seen in endemic areas. Per-acutely affected goats can die within one to three days with the minimal clinical signs. In acute disease, the initial signs are a very high fever, lethargy, and uh, anorexia, followed within two to three days by coughing and labored respiration. The cough is frequent, violent, and pr productive. In the final stages of the disease, the goat may not be able to move and stands with its front legs wide apart and its neck stiff and extended. Chronic caprine pleuropneumonia is characterized by chronic cough and uh, nasal discharge and debilitation. Contagious caprine pleuropneumonia should be suspected when uh, severe respiratory disease with the high morbidity and high mortality rate is seen in goats. Definitive Diagnosis is made by isolation and identification of the organism. Immunofluorescence, growth or metabolic inhibition tests and uh, polymerase chain reactions can also be used for identification. Serological tests include uh, complement fixation, latest agglutination, indirect heme agglutination and uh, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays. Serological tests are generally used on a herd basis and not for the individual diagnosis. These tests do not identify all the reactors and cross-reactions occur with 
other species in the mycoplasma mycoids cluster. The lesions of contagious caprine pleuropneumonia are limited to the respiratory system. Typical postmortem findings with the contagious caprine pleuropneumonia infections include uh, the granular appearance of one or both lungs and uh, fibrinous pneumonia in which the lung is covered with fibrin and uh, there is excessive fluid in uh, the thoracic cavity. Some long-term survivors have uh, chronic pleuropneumonia or chronic pleuritis with the encapsulation of acute lesions and uh, numerous adhesions to the chest wall. Antibiotics can be helpful in the treatment of contagious caprine pleuropneumonia. Erythromycin, tylosine, tetracycline or streptomycin are recommended but the success depends on early intervention and treatment. In countries that are newly infected, trade and movement restrictions and uh, the slaughter of uh, infected animals is recommended. Vaccines are available in some countries and uh, have been reported to provide good to excellent protection. We all need to do our part to keep our animals healthy and uh, free of foreign animal diseases such as contagious caprine pleuropneumonia. Quarantine of uh, the infected flocks is desirable and uh, on-site testing and uh, slaughter is sometimes necessary to control the spread of contagious caprine pleuropneumonia. The quarantine must be strictly imposed due to the high communicability to, of the disease. The sodium hypochlorite, which is also known as bleach, containing a stock concentration of 5.25% available chlorine is uh, effective for disinfection. That's all about today's lecture. Thank you so much.